So here we are in Google Forms. You can see I have one question. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? What we want to do is we want to add images to each of these ice cream treats. To do that, I'm going to click into the actual question. And you notice that as I hover over top of chocolate, I get a little icon to add an image. Let's add an image of a chocolate ice cream cone. I'm going to click on the button, click on Google image search. But of course, you can always add other options. And I'm going to do a search for chocolate ice cream. Here we have some nice chocolate ice cream treats. I'm going to click on this one right here and click on insert. You can see here that the Google form now has a nice chocolate ice cream cone. I'm going to go ahead and do this for the rest of the options. So you can now see we have four options, each with their own picture. Let's see what that looks like to our users. I'm going to click over here on the preview window. And you'll notice that I have my question with my four picture answers. The nice thing about this is that if I'm on a whiteboard or some kind of a touch screen, I can actually have my students come up and physically touch these answers. They don't necessarily need to click on the actual radio buttons. So that's how easy it is to create a question with multiple choices that have pictures for answers. Tune into our next episode here on TeacherCast where we're going to show you guys how to create a question with one picture that's going to serve as the image for the entire question. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And thanks for stopping by TeacherCast. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Remember to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.